Hi Libra and welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. If at any time you resonate with this reading, Libra, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Uh, any questions you have about me, if you'd like to view my website, all of that's going to be in the description box below. I have seen all your comments. I know I usually show my face. However, I have a few other projects going on and I've noticed that when I do face to face, I tend to exert more energy. Um, and so this is just a way for me to reserve some energy right now so that I can put that into some other projects that I'm very excited about. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it with my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. All right. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Libra. In regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path, I ask that these messages provide clarity, healing, and understanding in regards to their current situation, as well as a higher knowledge and wisdom into any soul lessons and karmic cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I strive to live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, Libra, you have, if it was just about surviving, getting by, and keeping things the way they are, then how would you explain your wild imagination? If it was just about sacrifice, selflessness, and altruism, then how would you explain your burning desires? And if it was just about thinking, reflection, and spiritual stuff, then how would you explain the physical world? Get the picture? Want it all. That's what it's there for. Vroom, vroom, the universe. You're holding yourself back in the way you perceive something or some type of belief. It's almost like you don't feel like you can have everything that you dream of or everything that you want. Some of you, again, this is very Libra of you and I understand because I get stuck in that as well. But some of you are very, very, very much stuck in the duality of, of a situation or just of life in general. And you're struggling with figuring out how to weave it all together and find some sort of balance and peace with what is happening around you, what's happening inside of you, and how do you want to implement or represent yourself? What actions do you want to take to bring in the life that you want? And there's just a struggle with balance, okay, and alignment. So let's see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Okay, the current energy that is surrounding you, Libra, yeah, awakening makes perfect sense then for this card. Because when we awaken, we start to see these types of situations from a much higher perception where we receive a new understanding, right? You have an awakening and it allows you to expand, evolve, and ascend, okay? Where does the Holy Spirit want you to be focused at this time? The monarch, that's the emperor. What do you struggle with right now, Libra? You're struggling with Bahia duality, the two of pentacles. How do you overcome this uh, struggle? You have the knight of pentacles by taking things one step at a time. That's how the most high works. He typically doesn't give it all to us at once. He gives it to us one step at a time to ensure that we are prepared for the road ahead and prepared for the next level, the next blessing, but also the next lesson, the next battle, right? And what is your probable outcome in regards to this uh, situation? The three of pentacles, collaboration. Okay, you do have the six of pentacles total here. So there is something that is, again, off balance that you're seeking balance and center peace on. On the bottom, you have the five of cups. Okay, with the wheel of fortune, chance, the ace of cups, strength, and the universe, which is the world, the six of cups, yeah, and the three of swords. So you're at this crossroads. You're not really knowing what to do next because something has come to an end or you feel as though um, 
as though you've lost something. You may have taken a chance on love here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups, and it was a disappointment. Something disappointed you. You lost something that was very, 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 very valuable to you. But in that loss, like I said, always comes a lesson and always comes strength and always comes growth. Also with the world, it lets me know that you are ascending, right? You're leaving one state of being and evolving, expanding and ascending to another because of what you've learned. This affected your self-love, but I do feel like this is something that you are um, actively integrating Okay, so don't be too worried about the fact that everything isn't in balance yet. It's not supposed to because you're in the middle of a lesson, right? So it shouldn't be in balance right now because you're still learning. You're still taking the test. All right, let's, so let's see here. Why is awakening here for the current energy of the situation? You may be reconciling something within your heart space here in the most high. Yeah, lovers. So you're seeing a love situation or the way you love or how you view love relationships or apply yourselves much differently, okay? You have the Page of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. I think that you're starting to see a situation where maybe you weren't receiving what you deserved or it was, it was less than. And some of you are realizing like, well, I'm doing okay, right? Yeah, because you, you, some of you were stuck in a third party situation, like repeatedly over and over and over because you have the eight of swords here. So this lets me know there was a cycle here. And then you have the three of cups and the three of wands. So this is an energy where it was like a never ending cycle of too many people involved in a situation that shouldn't be involved in a situation. A lot of pride, a lot of ego. And although... You may not have wanted to enter this phase of kind of being on your own or being separated from a situation. It looks as though that's what's currently being offered to you because you're recognizing and realizing here where somebody was not, they weren't investing or giving you what you deserved in a situation. The Holy Spirit wants you to focus on the emperor. Okay, they want you to focus on the energy of the emperor. Okay, um, this is about standing your ground to me. This is really what Spirit is saying. Again, I like this emperor in this deck because they show him here as the monarch with a lot of butterflies. And to me, that's transformation, which means that this emperor is one that does like to move. He doesn't stay stuck. He does like to transform. He understands the importance of expansion. He understands the importance of allowing oneself to learn from each situation, right? Clarify, please, the monarch. It's like you are in control of your destiny. It just depends on the energy that you allow around you. Yeah, eight of swords. There, there it is again. So there could be an energy around you. Now, this is a masculine energy. It's coming through as an emperor. So this could either be you or it could be a person that is around you. But to me, I'm seeing you recognize and start to take action on expanding your horizons because there's a third party situation that somebody was keeping you stuck in. They were keeping you stuck in it. That Eight of Swords is, is toxic. It's not the truth. It was to keep you stuck, but you're going to get out of it. You're breaking free here, especially with strength. You understand that you can take these Eight Swords and you can turn them into power. You can utilize them for your own growth and for your own expansion. Clarify, please, on what Libra should be focused on. Yeah, what I tell you, third party interference, seduction. They want you to see something for what it is. They want you to be able to see it for what it is. And, and I feel like that's what's difficult. It's like you want to see something just one way, but the reality is there's always going to be duality. And sometimes you may have to look at yourself to see how you got yourself in a situation, right? Instead of just focusing on the outside. And I'm not saying that in this situation, it's all you. But for some of you here, there's something with awakening that is reflective of you and how you show up in love connections or how maybe you're creating blocks by 
allowing yourself or letting yourself be in third party situations. That's just for some. But there is a mass awakening happening here with this collective where you're realizing I'm not going to accept anything less than anymore. I can have it all. I don't have to accept something that is less than. No, Emmy. You're not going out right now. Your struggle is the two of pentacles, making a decision, going back and forth, back and forth. Tell me about this, please. The struggle. The high priestess. You don't you don't really want to listen to your intuition all the time because you don't like what your intuition is telling you. And just because you don't like what your intuition is telling you doesn't mean that it's not the truth. Okay. Um, and I'm connecting this. I'm going to just say this right now. Somehow, whoever this is for, this is connecting to the word of God. If you're confused, spirit is saying you need to get in with the word of God so you can see the truth so that you won't be so confused on making a decision so that you can discern better. Okay. Cause there's something here that you go back and forth on and spirit is saying, look, you struggle with pauses. You struggle with taking a time out and meditating. You struggle with allowing yourself to connect with this inner knowing so that you can receive divine wisdom and divine guidance to help you make the decision that you need to make. Yeah. The devil is here because there is a block. There's something hidden in an offer. And that's what you struggle with. You may struggle with stability or commitment here. There could also be some finances or working together with somebody. Clarify this as a struggle. The nine of wands and the seven of wands. Wow. I feel like you are struggling with letting go of something that brings you a lot of lack. Okay. You're struggling with letting go of a situation that brings you a lot of lack. For some of, this, for some of you, this could be a family situation. And that's why this is hard for you to let go. For others of you, you've really been through a lot with this person. And so you're you're dealing with this energy right now, Libra, of like, was it all for nothing? Nothing is all for nothing. We always learn and gain something from, from every situation, whether it stays or whether it goes. Holy Spirit, please clarify the struggle for Libra. Yeah, addiction. You see... You're struggling with letting go of something. Again, codependent energy, controlling, obsession, possession, has a block, restraint. It's like you don't want to let go of a situation, but the situation has repeatedly had you in third-party situations. Emmy, if you don't knock it off, how do you come out of this situation one step at a time with the Knight of Pentacles? That's what the Holy Spirit is saying here being patient and working towards your ultimate goal. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving card in the deck. And it's all about determination. And it's all about committing yourself to the journey and committing yourself to what it is. You want it all, so go get it. But in order to get it, you have to be willing to release what no longer needs to be around you because it's holding you back. And that's the hardest part. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Something you have to... Something is holding you back. You have to put in the work and you have to allow yourself to be patient while it's growing. So you may have this, this element of wanting to, to rush something. Clarify, please. The Libra. The Tower. Yeah. And then the Wheel of Fortune with the world again. Be patient. I mean, really be patient. You seem to be in the middle of a pretty big life lesson. And this tower moment is coming in to put you back on the right path. This tower moment is coming in to allow yourself to uh, break free from, I feel, a very tumultuous situation that was keeping you stuck, that was preventing you from being able to, to, to move forward. Yeah. You need to free yourself from a karmic relationship here. That's how you get through this. Be patient as you put in the effort. 
You're gonna shock yourself to see how your life changes as soon as you start releasing any energy that's been holding you back. It says freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction, healing from heartbreak, karmic relationship, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you, and then you have acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. Yeah, like somebody here made you really empty promises. Okay, this person constantly had you in situations where you felt like you had to be in competition. Um, this person made you feel, you know, they, they were clever with their words. And I think that you, you, I, I really feel like you may have known this, but whatever they did, whatever they said and the loyalty that you had, it's like, it, it messed with your self-esteem and spirit is saying, don't let that happen. You could do good all by yourself. All right. Your probable outcome Libra is the three of pentacles here. So I see you kind of coming together and starting to, this is to me, the three of pentacles also is about discipline and really working on something, right? And trying to bring something together. Clarify this three of pentacles. What's coming in with it? Yeah, meditation. The two of swords. So you're going to be figuring out and discovering where your blocks are through meditation, more prayer, right? You may be going through an ego death here as you transition out. I mean, you definitely are. You're going through some type of awakening where you're going to your mindset is going to change because you're allowing the divine to come in and wash some wisdom over you. I do see you meditating and praying more. I see you kind of taking a pause here where whatever you couldn't see, whatever you couldn't see properly, whatever you couldn't hear properly, when you take the moment and really focus and work on connecting and meditating, these blinders, this blockage to your abundance is going to be removed. Okay, because you have the star and the ten of pentacles. Like something's going to be made very clear to you. You can have whatever it is you desire. You just have to believe in it and you have to take the steps towards it. Yeah, outdated thinking, condition, replaying events over and over in your head. That's what I'm saying. That's why you need to meditate. Because your perception is stuck on a situation that's keeping you in a cycle with this eight of swords and unable to expand. Closing messages, please. Because you're stuck on a soulmate situation. Not all soulmates are meant to stay in our life. Soulmates are literally here to teach us lessons. It's a contract. It's an agreement. And you have to awaken to what that agreement is with your spiritual eyes through prayer and discernment as you start to see and realize the repetitive cycles and patterns that you go through with people. They're either going to be karmic or they're going to be joyful and at peace and easy. It's either a lesson or it's a blessing. And you have to be able to see what it is. If you can't see what it is, it's because you're struggling in your connection and your relationship with the divine. Both receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on and closure issues. Yeah, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life, which is um, the Grim Reaper equivalent to the death card. All right, Libra, I'm sending you much love on this journey, and I look forward to hearing from you.